Electromyography, or an EMG test, is the main neurodiagnostic tool used in electrodiagnostic medicine and in clinical neurophysiology. An EMG test is composed of two parts, nerve conduction studies and electromyography. EMGs should be performed by trained physicians in order to establish a correct diagnosis, to evaluate the type and severity of a disorder, and to exclude alternative diagnoses. EMG tests provide information about injured nerve roots, damaged nerves, and muscle disorders, leading to symptoms of numbness, tingling, burning, pain, or weakness. An EMG test is an invaluable diagnostic tool which provides a roadmap for physicians, helping them locate, evaluate, and successfully treat neuromuscular disorders. Before the EMG, patients may continue routine activities such as eating, exercising, and driving. They are required to stop using lotions and creams on their skin for 24 hours prior to an EMG, but they may continue to take any medication. During the first part of the test, electrodes are strategically placed over the tested area and a small electrical stimulation is applied to the nerves, causing a mild tingling sensation. Using sophisticated digital equipment, nerve and muscle responses are recorded. The rate at which nerves conduct electrical impulses can then be calculated. Disc, ring, or bar electrodes are used to record responses from motor, sensory, and mixed nerves. Frequently used motor nerve studies include median and ulnar nerves when evaluating upper extremity disorders. Tibial and perineal nerve tests are essential in evaluating common lower extremity conditions. Assessment of sensory fibers may require testing of median, ulnar, and radial nerves in the arms and sural and superficial perineal nerves in the legs. In the assessment of more complex disorders such as brachial plexopathies, Testing of the medial and lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve is required, while testing of the saphenous nerve is necessary in the evaluation of femoral nerve disorders. As the EMG test progresses, the examining physician customizes the test according to the recorded responses. Each and every test is tailored to the patient's needs. The second portion of the test requires an insertion of a small disposable needle electrode into the designated muscle, which must be appropriately selected by the examining physician. The tip of the electrodes record muscle activity both at rest and in voluntary contractions. Muscle tissue does not normally produce electrical signals during rest. Assessment of the muscle at rest may yield abnormal activity indicating disruption in the nerve connection to the muscle or muscle inflammation. Patients will next be asked to engage the muscle. The recorded signals, known as motor unit potentials, are then immediately analyzed by the electromyographer. The combination of amplitude, duration, phases, and recruitment patterns may show evidence of myogenic or neurogenic disease. The test can last anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes, depending on the number of limbs tested and the complexity of the problem. As there are no lasting side effects from the test, patients may resume all of their usual activities following the test.